Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutný and today I have for you another incredible chess game. Game Alieza Firuja Hikaru Nakamura, it's absolutely crazy and you will see that no one is wasting time with defending moves and both players are going to play for attack. So Queen G4 and now Knight D5. Looks like um, everyone is attacking and it's good to see this position because everything is under attack. So at the first side, knight on d5 is attacking queen on f6 and uh, delivering threat on c7, that's a fork. Of course, at the other side, black is attacking pawn on f2 and he is going to take this pawn, delivering check to white's king. Just uh, believe me that uh, this is still a good position and both players are playing for victory. It's important, sometimes like um, the famous question to be or not to be, to attack or die, because who is going first to defense uh, will have uh, big difficulties in the future. So uh, black took on f2, check, why not, and now it's good time to think about um, pawn on c7. For this reason, black played to f8 and white is going immediately attack black's queen on f2. Yes, uh, black is going to play queen d4, but uh, that's not the best move, because the strongest move here is h5. h5, if you're attacking my queen, I'm going to attack your queen, and now uh, white has to decide how he's going to play this position. Of course, white is not interesting to make a queen exchange, and for this reason, I believe in move queen g5, d3 and now knight f6 after c3 and bishop e3 i believe that white's got slight edge this position is absolutely unclear why because no one has a right to go for castle both kings are unsafe and both players are playing aggressive and attacking chess it's interesting position, but unfortunately this is only sideline, but uh, don't worry, our game is still exciting and you will enjoy. So after knight d5, that's the last move, I hope we remember, uh, uh, black took on f2 and now played um, queen d4. So black missed move h5, but played queen d4 and after d3 and d6, uh, happened uh, queen f3. That's a danger threat to f7 and black has to be careful. h5 is a nice move because white has to be careful as well and now of course it's a uh, it's hard to evaluate this position. You know, just imagine that you are playing against human, you are playing against top world chess player and now mm, he's attacking you and you are attacking him and now, you know, too many threats and too many unclear moves. Uh, the best move here is to go to e1. Yes, yeah, this is a hard move to see, but of course the threat bishop g4 make a sense to leave this threat immediately and what about this move? Now, uh, the threat of course is to take pawn on c7, so bishop g4 and now maybe t to take on h3 and play maybe rook c8. Be careful because here is a queen f5 and I'm going to show a really funny variation. Knight e7, take take and checkmate. Yes, that's game over. So black has to be careful as well and maybe mm, uh, maybe knight f6 is a stronger, but take take and uh, now rook h7 and rook f1 and c3. Uh, looks to me that black is losing queen on d4 and another reason why to believe that yes, uh, black's position is difficult, much more difficult than white's position. So what next? I think that uh, this move it's looking nice and for example... Um, here maybe bishop uh, bishop b6, knight, and uh, of course here is a threat uh, to delivery checkmate. So I think that even here white is winning. So this position is hard, harder for black than harder for white, and uh, this move looks to me like amazing move. Unfortunately, uh, white missed this move and played a knight e3. This is a too passive in active position and knight f6, knight g5, it's another active move. So, pawn on uh, f7 is under attack and black has to go for counter attack. I love uh, games where attack and 
counterattacks are threatened, and now bishop g4 happened. Uh, knight g4, and now queen e2, g3, and unfortunately, now white is going to play a losing move, and he is going to take pawn on f7. How is possible that such a normal looking move, knight f7 is losing move? Because again, attack and counter attack. What was so stronger? I think that maybe h3 looked to me like fine. And after this exchange, uh, now knight f7. And why? You will see different uh, in our main game. Because our main game follows now rook h2. Of course, uh, that's a good answer. Because what's going on? Just imagine that. Um, Just imagine that uh, here it's no way to take this rook because of course you're taking by h pawn. Here's a check and he's a new queen. So now uh, white has to go for defend and he played rook f1. And amazing move is queen f2. That's a beautiful queen sacrifice. What is hard to refuse. And uh, white took this queen, but this pawn is too dangerous and too far so here is only one check and new queen so white queen has to go to f1 and of course believe me that this queen is unhappy on f1 and uh, she doesn't want to stay here forever black now has a time to attack this queen and if black is going to find another amazing move knight h5 and knight g3 um, black is winning and of course it's hard to stop black to play this move Knight h5 happened and after a few more moves, uh, white is going to resign. Why? For example, after knight g5, knight g3, and here maybe it looks like white is still surviving. No, it's wrong because here is a new queen and black has extra rook. Amazing game. You know, at first sight it looks like it was an absolutely crazy game. At the end, I think that we saw attack and counter attack and we saw exactly the chess beauty it was a nice game and i hope that you enjoyed it was a fighting game and it was a funny game where everything was possible and nothing was impossible and i hope that you enjoyed this game and if yes just feel free and press like or press follow and made my day i hope you enjoyed and i believe that i'm going to meet you here next time in our another youtube chess video Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.